This is an example of how to use business functions as orchestration steps. Using business functions within orchestrations can be very powerful. For example, if you need to have instant response in every millisecond count, and you want to avoid the overhead of JDebit's program, which might be running a bit more than you exactly need. Another example would be to having to execute something which is not available within a JDebit's program and can be easily executed by a single or set two business functions. So let's this case, we're creating an orchestration to uh, get the price for a specific item for a specific customer. So let's go ahead and uh, create the orchestration. So click orchestrations and we're going to create the orchestration uh, get price. So type the name get price. And actually this is a, an Oracle, uh, an example I got from Oracle. So thank you very much for the idea. Um, this is just an example of how to work it out. So let's put in all our um, step, the, the input parameters of the orchestration. So the orchestration parameters are going to be our sold to, which is a number. Um, our second item number is a typical thing we want to put in. Um, and to get the price, of course, we need to know the quantity. Quantity is an important thing to know. And quantity is a number, of course, so let's put it to numeric as well. Um, and of course, the branch and um, the company to get this um, price. So these are the parameters that we're going to have to, having to put in to, for our orchestration. So at first, we are going to create a data request um, that gets the short item number because our business functions need a short item number. So we're going to do uh, a data request and we're going to call it uh, DR get short item from the F4101, the item after. That automatically populates everything. Uh, we're going to put in the second item number and we want to have back the short item number and as well for the business function, it needs the line type. The line type is uh, something very far below. So it makes sense to use the filter here and uh, add the line type as a return value. I always beautify my variables. Um, camel case, so first letter, lowercase, and the rest of the words, first letter, uppercase. So second item number, my short item number. It makes it so much more readable within your orchestration. And the line type. So save that and uh, close out of it and uh, map the input value, second item number um, to second item number. I uh, got into the habit of uh, saving uh, every, almost every step I do just to make sure. Although the new Orchestrator Studio since the last couple of months, maybe even years, has been very reliable. This feature is available since recent 9243 to call business functions. But first we're going to do uh, call a business function, uh, get some details from our soul tool. And getting the billing instructions. So we put in um, our address number and we want to have two fields back. Um, the adjustment schedule and uh, the pricing group. So it's it's this easy to call a business function. It's it's just like getting things from a form, and in this case, it's from a business function. So map map our address number, and now we can do the the get price business function. So again, create custom custom business function and uh, do a calculate price. So custom calculate price. Get the business function for getting the price information. And it populates many fields here. 
So here we're going to fill out quite a few fields. Um, adjustment schedule, um, our address book numbers, a short item number, of course. Um, base currency code, we're here defaulting to US dollars. Um, but you can even get those as a parameter, of course. So on the left side, we're filling in our parameters, and on the right side, what fields you want to have in return. And here and there, we can even put some default values here in um, that we don't need to have back. Um, of course, we want to see the unit price, extended price. You know, the measure, um, of course, the branch plan we need to put in, the business function needs to know. The company, the transaction date is interesting sometimes for an external uh, program to, uh, to get. Get the quantity shipped, quantity ordered. You need to have those quantities for the business function. Conversion factor, we're defaulting to one. And um, yeah, of course, this is this is these are things that you can also fetch if you want to have more complex setups. And in this case, we're defaulting to each. And it's based on uh, the standard bike factory effective price we're going to put the system date in there later on customer pricing group we got from the customer uh, the line type we got from the item in the data request which we will later map uh, get the last couple of values in suppressing um price stuff and save it so this is basically it it's it's a bit that simple so now map all the fields and after that uh, set our output values well we've already uh, so some need to be from the inputs and some we fetched from previous from the data request Getting the company, the quantity, of course. And the, for the date, we're getting the system date from our uh, orchestration system values. Price group from customer and the line type from the item that we fetched. Okay. So let's save it and uh, run the orchestration. Oh, forgot, of course. We need to put in uh, the, what we need to have as outputs. It's nice to use those outputs because then um, you get a nice format that uh, JSON as output. So let's run it and see what it actually does. Um, we're just going to put in some defaults for our bicycle, of course, your branch and company. I run it. Of course, the first time it's going to run a bit longer, it needs to cache it. So the first time took uh, 1.3 seconds. But as you see, if you run it again, everything is cached. And uh, within approximately 100 milliseconds, you get, uh, you get a price. It should be fairly okay for a website. So this is an example how to use business functions in orchestrations. Uh, just as a step, it's, uh, it's, it's fairly easy, although you need to know which business function to call and how to call that specific business function. So here by the example.